Welcome to my channel Living Linux. Today I will show you how to activate hardware video acceleration in Chromium on Pop! OS on my Starlight. So by default the browser is Firefox but for me getting hardware video acceleration to work in Firefox is a bit more complicated than it is in Chromium. So as it is easier in Chromium that's what I will show you today. So in the pop shop you can search for Chromium and the interesting thing here is that what I noticed is that I get multiple options for Chromium. So let's just go with this one. You can see that it's a Debian file and well you can install it but it's not recommended because you only get an old version of Chromium. And I was expecting that in the drop down that you would have the option to choose between the Debian file or the flatpak. So, but in my case it's just two different entries. So get the flatpak one. So I already installed it and I use Big Buck Bunny on YouTube as a test for hardware video acceleration. Um, I'm also having on the left hand side top so I can monitor the CPU usage. So also here that none of the experimental flags have been activated so this is just standard install of Chromium and I hope you can see this but the resolution is 1080p 60 Hertz and when we start playing you can see well hopefully you can see that the CPU usage goes above 100% so that means that the process occupies more than one core and the Starlight has the Intel Pentium Silver and 5000 with four cores but playing videos on YouTube should actually mainly be handled by the video hardware decoder and you should not see CPU usage above 100% so what you also can do to check this is when you go to more tools and then the developer tools and go to the three dots you have even more tools and then you can go to media and here you can see VPX video decoder and hopefully we'll see something else when we make the changes so I'll pause this one for now and here you can f find well, it's a lot of flags so Hardware accelerated video decode, so I was just searching for hardware. It's default, and then we set it to enabled, and then you have to relaunch it. So here you see now it's enabled, and we can go back to Big Buck Bunny. And now CPU usage stays below 100%. So 
So that means that the hardware video decoder is doing its work. And that's one of the annoying things with Chromium. No, I don't want to use the password manager. So more tools, developer tools. More tools again, go to media. And now you can see the decoder name is Video Decode Accelerator. So that means that it's much, much more efficient to play videos with the hardware video decoders. And also when you're just running on battery, it will save you a lot of battery, meaning that you can spend more time away from a power socket. So this means that I finally found a way to have proper performance when playing YouTube videos and I really look forward to install an M2 drive in the Starlight, an extra M2 drive and install Pop! OS on that as a secondary OS. So when you're in the same situation as me, where you have the, for instance, Intel Pentium Silver N5000 and you have performance issues when playing YouTube videos, well, this is one of the options to tackle this. Probably you can also do this in Ubuntu, but then you probably need to install a newer kernel. And going with Pop! OS is just way more easy. So that's all for now. And I hope to see you again in my next video.